Hello world, this is Jerry B. Sitting here on my porch, soaking up some of the sun. Can't stay out here too long because it's hot. It can be a little burning. But right now, I kind of need it to just like soak into this chocolate skin of mine. <laughs> but anyway, as I sit out here, I'm just thinking of life. Life and how we live it. And I think during this quarantine time, it really caused all of us to really think. To think about what we made of it and what we're gonna do when it's over. And that's what I wanna talk to you about. Cause I'm pretty sure all of us have asked God, Lord, what you want me to do, you know? Where you want me to go, how you want me to do it. And this is the time to ask him. In this slow season, in this time of quietness, this is the time to do it. And understanding this, that to be successful could be very challenging. Matter of fact, the way T.D. Jakes put it, there's pressure. Even to ask God for a miracle, in order to get to that point where I need a miracle, there's pressure. So I encourage you today to don't be scared of the pressure. Embrace it. In order to get to the other side of where you want to be and where you want to go, there's pressure. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he needed to get to the other side. He needed to die so he could be risen. But before he died, before he rose up with all power, there was pressure. Because he even likes his father. If it be thy will, can you let this pass away from me? So anything that you're desiring to do that God has put in your heart to do, understand there's going to be pressure. Embrace it. Because the other side looks so much better than it do right now. <laughs> it reminds me of that song. I'm somewhere in the future and it looks much better than it looks right now. And that's the way you have to look at your goals and your dreams and your desires and what God has put in your heart. So I made this little video to tell you, don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. Embrace the pressure. Embrace that uncomfortable feeling because it's beautiful on the other side. I can attest to that many times. Just recently with my event and what God had put in my heart to do it, I'm like, do you know, do you know I ain't got the budget, God? Do you know I, I just don't have the budget? But it's not about what I have. That's about what he has. And t tell you this, the day of, I'm in total awe. I have nothing to do with it. I'm in total awe what God has done. But trust me, there was times the enemy told me to quit. Can't quit. And I tell you, you can't quit. Go as far as God tell you to. Don't go before him and don't be late. Be on time with him. And let him direct your path. So many times we give up before the prize. I encourage you today. 
Don't quit and don't give up. Allow God's light to shine in you so he can get the glory. And I'll leave that with you today. God loves you. And remember, I love you too. God bless.